So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to find anything that says Steam on it. You may need to scroll down to find Steam, but once you find Steam, you want to right click on it and then click on End Task. And then once you do that, we're going to head over to the Details tab and then do the same thing. Anything that says Steam on it, you want to find that. Right click on it and then click on End Process Tree. Now for the second step, you want to head over to search and type in Steam. Then you want to right click on it and then click on Open File Location. Then you want to right click on Steam again and then click on Open File Location again. Then once you find the Steam.exe file, you want to right click on it click on properties then you want to head over to the compatibility tab and then tick run this program as an administrator and then click on ok now for the next step we're going to head over to search and type in view network connections click on it once you're on this you want to find either your wi-fi or your ethernet no matter which one you have you want to double click on it and then click on properties and then click on internet protocol version 4 then you want to make sure that use the phone your dns server address has been selected you want to make the first line 8888 and you want to make the second line 8844 four, and then click on OK. For the next step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator and then click on Yes. Once you're on this, you want to copy and paste these commands, which will be down below in the description, into CMD. I'm going to type out the first one, which is ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and then click on Enter. Then you just want to copy and paste these next commands into CMD. Now, after you complete all these steps in the video, Steam should be working now. But if it's still not working, you want to head over to search and type in percent local app data percentage sign and then click on enter. Once you're on this, you want to scroll down till we find the Steam folder. You want to delete this. Now, once you delete that folder, you want to restart your computer and then run the Steam application again and then the problem should be fixed.